Hi guys, welcome to another Excessive Gamer Review, my series of thoughts of current and maybe not so current games because some oldies are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score, a number or anything that remotely depicts any form of scaling system whereby you get to gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it. But what you'll certainly get is my most humble and honest opinion on what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see or dislike it so much that you can't stop watching, well, then why not subscribe? With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. Concrete Genie is a puzzle game by Pixel Plus that makes those of us who can't draw two identical stickmen feel like we're somewhat just barely closer to resemble a fraction of a person with a talent who could just about ever so slightly draw a decent stickman, but just not quite. All jokes aside, Concrete Genie sees you as young artist Ash in a remarkable little adventure set to pull at your heartstrings in a tale of dedication, love, friendship and family. The game starts with the protagonist Ash drawing in his sketchbook while sitting in a picturesque pier in a quaint fishing village called Denska. To cut the story short, a bunch of thugs decide to rip apart Ash's art book, scattering pages all over Denska and due to a turn of remarkable events, the paintings come to life. You'll be running around the map finding collectibles in the form of those pages, which you then add to your sketchbook, which in turn gives you more options when painting. You'll need to gather these in order to fulfill your genie's requests, albeit unlocking new areas of the map. Traversing the map is quite effortless and great deal of fun. You can scale vertically up the buildings, zip line from one building to the next with ease, nothing innovative but fun and very easy to get around. You'll not have free reign however since the bullies are roaming the map making nuisances of themselves and you will have to unwit them in order to find a way around them to get to certain parts of the map. And if they get their hands on you they'll remove your brush and you'll have to go and retrieve it. Although this is far easier than you'd imagine and I wish they would have added a little bit more complexity here since it got very easy very very fast. The setting is beautiful although grey and grimy but that only helps make your almost neon paintings pop out even more against the dull brick laden industrial canvas. Furthermore. Your paintings aren't static, they all come to life and each stroke of your paintbrush brings a beauty and almost infantile charm to the screen. You are tasked with bringing life back to the village through your art by honing your artistic skills and painting specific walls, locations to brighten them up and rid the village of this purple plague which is overrun the small port town. You use your DualShock's built-in motion controller to move the brush around when painting which is surprisingly easy to get the hang of and works the charm. Around the game's midpoint not only have you got to paint the walls to light up parts of the village, you'll also now have to contend with the evil version of your drawings which have come to life. Using your newly acquired powers bestowed into your paintbrush you're now tasked with beating them down to a pulp and then converting them back to the former nice genie versions. This is where the game feels a little odd, beating up the evil paintings for the lack of a better word. It's tedious. The shots from your paintbrush seem to barely cause any damage and just ends up making things a bit of a chore. I would have much preferred the game to continue with a puzzle system adding more complexity and depth as the game progressed instead of focusing so much on reverting genies back to their former good self, which was the only part of the game I quickly ended up disliking. Other than that, the game story is charming. The environment is beautiful and the artistry, well, the artistry is sublime. I love how they've designed the characters. I especially like the mouth animations when the camera is close up, giving this old school almost stop motion vibe to it. Every inch of this game seems to have been meticulously thought out. The story is great and actually very deep with a significant meaning. I must praise Pixel Plus for bringing a topic such as bullying to the forefront and addressing the underlying issue, which is that every person goes through their own struggles and issues and every one of us have our own demons. No matter how things may look on the exterior, there is no telling what nightmares and devastation could have tormented each and every one of us throughout our lives. Well done Pixel Plus. This was a great achievement and a solid gem most welcomed on my gaming shelf. I'm Excessive Gamer, thank you, until next time.